What is an allemand? Which are its main important features and how to apply them in our improvisations compositions? Let's discuss about all these things in this video with the help of Marburg. Welcome to this new video, I'm Ricardo Samuzicus Practicus and today here we analyze all the elements we must know if we want to play or improvise an element. After this video there are other videos that follow on improvisation elements where I show you how to improvise step by step an element. In particular I made three musical recites for three kinds of elements. Remember that you can download all what I'm talking about in this video with the slides, with the complete text on my Patreon, checking the link in the description, and then you can have the access to a big amount of other videos, other many incredible things. So watch this video, download the PDF, and become a Musicus Practicus YouTube on my Patreon. The allemande is usually the opening dance of a suite, but unlike the other dances in the 17th century, it was performed as a purely instrumental piece, as Marie Mersenne writes in his Harmonie Universelle, Traité de la Voix et de Chance, Paris, 1636. Despite that, we can often find an allemande as the first piece of a suite, a succession of dances. What are all the elements we have to pay attention when we perform an allemand? What are all the elements we have to know in order to compose or improvise an allemand? To answer this question, Friedrich Wilhelm Marburg comes to our help. In volume 2 of Klavierstücke mit einem praktischen Unterricht für Anfänger und Geübtere, Berlin, 1762. Sorry, I can't pronounce this name. Marburg writes to us what are all the elements we must care about if we want to compose or improvise an allemand. Here are the most important points for writing an allemand from Marburg and from musical analysis. 1. Succession of changing harmonies. The structure as a succession of chords makes the allemand very similar to a prelude. 2. No voice should stand out and no melody should lead the speech. Because of its similarity to the prelude, the melody we could hear comes from the interaction between all the voices. 3. There's no limitation to a specific number of voices. This means that even if a three-voice structure must prevail, we can freely pass from a two, three, four or more voice texture to another two, three, four more voice texture. Also, a one-part texture is possible if we imagine arpeggios from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. 4. Imitative figures usually are very short, made up of three or four notes. These figures and formulas that appear the first time at the beginning of the piece appear many other times with variations like inversions, contrary motion, transpositions, etc. They form the melodic material of our piece. 5. Even if the writing is basically free, all the dissonances must be prepared. In other words, they must follow the PSR rule – preparation, suspension, resolution. 6. The resulting melody originated from the harmonic succession and spread through all the voices is good if it is characterized by a specific common rhythmic unit. Different combinations of longa and brevis are possible. 7. The allemand follows the binary refrained form. First section from degree 1 to degree 5, then ritornello bar, second section from degree 5 to degree 1. In minor modes, instead of going to the fifth degree, it is possible to go to the third degree, the relative major key. 8. Modulations give to the allemand a dynamic direction, so interrupted or evaded cadences are always welcome. Marburg says that in the middle of the second section of the allemand, the melody should have given the opportunity for a perfect cadence. 9. The time signature is 4-4 or common time. 10. The number of the bars is usually the same. Each section should have at least 6 measures, usually 8, but not more than 16. If one section consists of an uneven number of measures, it's not always a mistake like in the allemand of Jon Sebastian Bach's Partita No. 6, 8 bar, first section, plus 12 bar, second section. 11. 
the performing tempo of the Allemand is neither too slow nor too fast. We can make the right choice by listening and analyzing the changes in the harmony. 12. Each section of an Allemand usually begins with an anacrusic figuration, like a 16th note or three 16th notes. Nice, and this was the most important elements of the Allemand. The second part of this video continues with the analysis of two Allemands by Georg Friedrich Handel and three videos on how to improvise an Allemand composing the structure with combinations, method and three musical recites on improvisation elements, a pattern exclusive. See you!